Hi everyone, my name is Ahali, and if you couldn't tell by my bookshelves, which you kind of see in like every video often, better, so much better, incredible. I love books, but they are dirty as hell. You can't tell from a distance they look smooth and bright and clean like my face, but it's all a lie. See, I got a pimple right here, I have a scar right here. So question of the day, are your bookshelves as dirty as mine? In fact, here's the current state of them. There are literal pieces of mud on this shelf in particular, which in all honesty is normal for me because this is basically my dog's bed. She owns it. She lays here directly. This is her blanket and she's probably going to be really mad at me when she realizes that I've messed up her little den, but I'll give her a treat and it'll be okay. She'll forget about it. It's spring cleaning here for a reason, so that's what we're going to do today. This is going to be a very chill vlog where I clean all of my bookshelves. I'm sorry if you find this really boring, but I just needed a really nice, calming video to film this week because it is a very busy week. Most of this video is not going to be sped up because I hate sped up videos where they just put music over it. Like, my, if you've seen my bookshelf organization videos, they are all real time. Because I hate sped up videos with music. I will die on this hill. And honestly, it doesn't smell great in here either. It kind of smells like dog. So I'm going to start with this shelf here, which is the absolute dirtiest, and I'm going to take off all of the books, one shelf at a time. I'm going to dust it with my little Swiffer, which I'm probably going to have to like ring out or like, you know what I mean, like do this outside every like two swipes. I also have Clorox wipes for emergencies only because we don't want to harm any books and make them, you know, all chemically and gross. And I have a rag for double Clorox emergencies. You get what I'm saying? So let's do this together. I'm just gonna zoom in real close to my face. By the way, this is also going to test out the power of my new microphone. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh, this is so bad. It's definitely the worst shelf out of every single one of my shelves. Just hair and mud and dirt. I feel so sorry for these books. So uh, hopefully this catches it and doesn't just... Eh, okay, okay. Is this satisfying? A little bit of ASMR for ya. Oh my god, I hate myself right now. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I, yep, I gotta go ring this out already. Even my Fungo Pops are in the right freaking place. We have Garrus up here that is just totally knocked over. I don't know how that happened. Probably a ghost. I sin a lot. I probably have a ghost haunting me. Wouldn't be surprised. By the way, how is everyone doing? Oh, that's not going to fit. Whoops. We're gonna have to put these books on this shelf for now. How is everyone's medieval -thon going? Oh my goodness, this is definitely the best um, reading month for me. I am so incredibly motivated to read. It's freaking fantastic. What is it? It is the 20th of the month and I have read seven books, I think, which is a lot for me, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew that was there. There are literally lines of dirt from where the books were. Anyways, I really hope you guys are enjoying medieval -thon just in general because um, the story, or the story, is very different from last year because last year the story was all about saving the kingdom from the plague and <laughs> I couldn't do that again this year. And this month has been so busy that I actually didn't have anything planned and at the moment I'm kind of just making stuff up on the spot. I can't believe I just revealed that but we're being honest right here. I obviously can't talk and clean at the same time. The books can go back. Okay, so I'm actually going to bring my microphone closer because I feel like you can't hear me all the way over there, but there's really no good place to put it. You can tell this video was totally not planned. Can you hear me? La la la. This next shelf is actually not too bad. It's mostly just dog hair. No clumps of mud. Thank God. Oh, there's a piece of mud. And it fell down. I wonder if I can do this. 
this is gonna work. I'm gonna do this. Perfect, right? This isn't awkward at all. It's just stuck in between my boobs. It was too awkward for me. Okay, next shelf. I do have a few new books that I'm going to show you. I don't know if I'm going to film a uh, book haul this month because I've literally hauled like three books and that's just no fun. We'll see if I get more. But yeah, I'll show you um, some of the new books I got in the mail today actually. Uh, two shelves down like 10 to go so the top shelf isn't bad it's actually mostly just dust and not hair not mud I think that's progress see I told you Garrus was just laying around freaking Waluigi's turned around see this shelf it's okay there's a little bit of hair but it's really not bad it's mostly dust don't judge me this is a really bad angle can't even see anything. Oh, you can see my PJs. There's, there's just no winning. There's already hair sitting on these shelves that I just cleaned. It's a never ending cycle. It probably doesn't help that I'm bringing the dirty books onto the shelves that I just cleaned. All right, so there's like no really easy way for me to show you me cleaning this top shelf. So just believe me, it's getting cleaned. And then we'll move on to the second shelf. Okay, so that whole entire shelf is now clean. We're gonna move on to this one. But I just have to ask, does anyone else do this where they have three stacks on their shelves? We have all the books I have read this month, my TBR, and then books I need to haul. Is this a booktuber thing or do you guys do this too? Well, I guess that's what TBR carts are for, but I don't have room for a TBR cart. So I just have book stacks. One shelf down and I'm already working up a sweat. Oh yeah, actually I can show you one of the new books. I finally got a physical copy of Shortfall, which I've already read. And yeah, I really wanted a physical copy and it looks so good with Foundryside. I love this theme. It looks great. This is my favorite shelf, by the way. Actually, these two shelves are like my... F you know what? This whole entire shelf right here is like my favorite shelf. But these two in particular have like a lot of my special editions. And we definitely need to clean these shelves. They are the most important. This is also the Joe Abercrombie shelf. So obviously is the most important. Oh, it's really dirty under here. Okay, question for you. Do you get scuff marks on your bookshelves? My white shelves get scuff marks on them and they come right up. But do books leave scuff marks on your shelves? Like, is that a thing? Didn't think that was a thing. There's even scuff marks I need to show you. Like, look at this shit. Like, what is this? Like, this is not, it comes right up, right? Yeah, look, it's gone but scuff marks and they were seriously just like streaked all the way down don't know it's a freaking mystery i'm just resorting to my hand at this point it's a better cleaner than this rag I 
I'm leaving a spot open right here for the next Poppy War book. Next shelf. Honestly, I feel like these next shelves don't even need like a wipe down, but they definitely need dusted. But like from here up and over, it's really not like dusty at all. Okay, so we're moving on to this shelf, which honestly is not bad. I do have a fourth shelf, which is where all my YA and middle grade books are, but I'm kind of not really going to worry about that shelf. It's really not dirty at all. And even this shelf, like, do you see a speck of dust? Because I sure don't. Oh, never mind. I do. Okay, for this next shelf, I have something you guys are not going to believe. You're going to think I am lying. But yes, I have one. I know they are so freaking rare. <sighs> An empty shelf. A empty freaking shelf. You've never seen one before in your life. But I have one. And hell yeah, I'm gonna dust it. Mm. I think I make a fantastic housekeeper. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Was this the most boring video you've ever seen? If it was, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, I hope it wasn't. I, like I said, I just wanted a relaxing, chill video to, fit, to put up this week because, boy. If you haven't subscribed already to my amazing, most entertaining content ever, go ahead and subscribe. I upload videos every single week. Follow me on Instagram at Holly Hearts Books and on Twitter at Holly Niece. And until we meet again, happy reading.